every day more snow you guys every day more snow can you guys see all the glitter that's in the snow i don't know if it's showing up on the camera it's so sparkly when you look across the field it's all sparkles hi pen she watches <laughs> she watches for me good morning guys welcome to today's video is the first official day of spring break and the girls are asleep the girls are asleep you guys did you expect anything else Kaylee slept over the night before Gabby slept at Kaylee's so they're on a double marathon which usually means Gabby will be in a great mood today yeah but good morning to all of you guys I hope you guys are having an awesome spring break if you're on spring break Unfortunately, Sam is working this week. I'm gonna ask him to take a couple of days off because I have some like stuff that we wanna do. And I have some special guests coming to hang out with us and I'm gonna see if he'll take some time off because we need him to. The arena is a big mess. I'm excited to get out here and actually clean it. There's still some ice back there. Poop stuck in the ice, even poop stuck here in the ice. It is glorious out today though, glorious it is uh four degrees in the barn four degrees celsius which is like 40 degrees um no it's like 32 degrees ruby is searching for the cat <laughs> see that is why we can't have cats because she's like oh she's awful with cats but you guys something really bad happened last night like so bad i can't even like i was gutted when this happened last night i'm trying to find a piece so last night, if you guys saw yesterday's video, you'll see that I worked with Penny yesterday and it was so fun. And when I work with Penny like on the ground, I get so excited, like it just feels incredible. And I have my like flag. I got a flag for Christmas. If you guys didn't see, there was a video at Christmas time, but I wanted a flag. And you guys know I told you, like our experience with horses, nobody around us does groundwork. Like goes out there daily and works with their horse on the ground. It's just like all riding lessons and like we've never had that kind of a training. And so for me, getting my flag and training Penny and learning all about groundwork and like really bonding with her and, and doing these things has given me such a big, huge feeling of power and, and accomplishment and I know she's been loving it. So I was watching the video last night. I finished working with her. I set my flag up against the stairs and then I carried in all her like her rope halter and the lead rope and all the stuff that I had with me I carried it all in and put everything away I forgot my flag in the arena forgot it in the arena you guys sadly when Sam came down literally like two hours later it was destroyed it's completely broken in half and destroyed stomped on made muddy destroyed you guys think I could fix this? I'm gonna try and fix it. Sam made it seem like it was like unfixable and it is unfixable. <laughs> if you guys can see the edge, but it's a bit of good duct tape. That's what duct tape is for. But anyway, Penny destroyed my flag. Like she destroyed it and Sam's like, well, how do you know it was Penny? It was Penny. Penny is such a curious horse. Like she's so curious. Like you can't leave anything in there without her being all over top of it. Like as soon as I put something in there, whoosh, she's over at it. Like she is such a curious horse. Yeah, and she probably just spotted it and played with it and played with it until it was in pieces. So I'm gonna take it off with me and try and repair it and clean it and cause this is like, something that's really beloved to me and I can buy a new one but it's not the same like that one has such emotional meaning to me do you guys know that feeling when something like you've wanted and something that's changed your life and it has like so much emotional meaning yeah well it has a lot of emotional meaning to me it's time to feed the girls and they're eating outside today there's always so many things I want to tell you guys and and explain to you guys that could inspire a change because we all need to change we all need to work we need to always be constantly working on ourselves did you guys know that like I constantly work on myself every single day every time something doesn't go well I reflect on it figure out where I went wrong usually it's my ego everybody has an ego our ego is our human side our spirit 
is our spirit side. It's when our ego and our spirit don't connect, that we have problems. We should always be trying to rule our lives and our emotions and our reactions and responses by our spirit, not by our ego, but because we're human, egos play a big, big role. But I wanted to take a second and explain to you guys why my horse is such, such a slob. <laughs> why, Penny Pickle? Why? <laughs> why are you such a slob? But honestly, I wanted to take a second and explain to you guys why, oh gosh, she's like, do this side. Um, why, I wanted to explain to you guys about something that has been like coming up in my life a little bit lately, and it is how you think about things. And we all have like our own preset ways of thinking of things. But like, for example, when Sam saw my flag, he said like, it's destroyed, you're never gonna be able to use it again, it's like broken in pieces, it's a, dis a disaster, like it's completely stomped to death. And I was devastated. And then when I see the flag, I'm like, oh, it's not that bad. I could fix that. And then now I feel good again. I feel better again. All right, let's do this. All right, why do I always forget? I think it's you. Go out, don't give me any problems. Wait, all right, you got it? Do not give me any problems. Go, out. I can't be pushed around, get. Get out, <laughs> go. Hurry up, come on, listen. If you don't want to be let out, you have to listen to the rules, Missy. Oh, good God. You too, no problems, I got no treats. Go, go, go. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> go, go, Pony, go, go, go. All right, Penny Pickle, you ready for this? All right, go slow, because there's a rope on there. Yeah, remember how she used to, uh-oh, there's a problem. <laughs> what the heck did you do? <laughs> you did not go in order, no. It's possible they don't respect me the way that they should. So, anyways, I wanted to just point out, like, here, Ruby, come in. I just wanted to take a second to point out that you get to control how you feel about things. You get to choose how you see the world. And if you see the world in a positive way, then you'll have a lot of positive feelings. The more positive people that you hang around, the more positivity you'll feel. When you surround yourself with negativity and, and negative people, then you'll have a really negative experience and you can never fully achieve happiness, like real true happiness without that level of positivity that you need. Like, you guys have seen so many things that are negative happen to us because of our channel and because of a lot of negativity out in the world and people who think in a negative way and only have a negative mindset and choose to see the negative and not the positive. And you've seen us, you've seen us be okay with that. You've seen us like withstand that. You've seen us continue to be positive and happy and you guys have seen me have to learn how to overcome that kind of stuff through this channel. You've seen me struggle in the past and, and now you see me doing so much better and I want you guys to know that it is possible. Everybody that wants to have a positive experience and achieve true happiness, because think about it guys, think about it deep inside your heart. Are you truly happy? Are you truly happy right now? You can achieve this because you can choose your outlook on life and it seems really hard but the, the easiest way to start is to just always look for something positive out of every situation even if it's a horrible situation look for something positive and focus on it and the more you focus on the positive the more you'll only see the positive positive. and I struggle with it everybody struggles with it it's hard because human life is hard life is hard but I believe in you guys and I want anyone who is wanting to try better and to do better for themselves to hear this message and try because it's possible if I can do it you can do it and I'm not perfect at it I fail lots of times but failing is just an opportunity to learn and keep learning so anyway that's all I wanted to say to you guys today I got the horses out with minimal issues um, and I'm gonna clean my stall clean the arena and the girls will come down later and do their stalls because it's spring break and they gotta sleep in otherwise mama has a bad day the barn is clean the poop has been dumped the horses are fed goodbye penny pickle <laughs> I'll see you tonight I'll see you later this afternoon okay She's like, okay, don't bother me. One weird thing I wanted to tell you guys is that our puppies poop along 
the poop pile. Isn't that amazing though? They take time to, or they, they make an effort to poop where all the poop is. <laughs> Saves a, a lot of time and effort for us on cleaning up. We have lessons today and we have to head to the barn. It takes like an hour for us to get to the barn and then we have to, uh, and I have to do some stops along the way. And we have to take care of our horses. Like there are so many things that we have to do. Like we have to brush every horse that we have there and we have to like check the blankets and we have to like, having horses isn't just showing up at the barn 30 minutes before your ride, tacking up and getting on. It's so much more than that. It's like- If you guys are wondering. Yes, I still walk all the way around the car. <laughs> are you trying to say you're you're traumatized because we honk the horn yes. when? I'm sorry, Sylvie. I'm sorry. I can tell all my friends. <laughs> I'm walking in front of the car. They're gonna honk on me. <laughs> That's just awful. I promise I will never honk the horn at you ever again. Okay. For Gabby, mate. No, I will never let anybody do it because uh, Sophie. Give me a honk, at Gabby. <laughs> That is not fair. That is just but not fair. You guys did it to me more than her. Yeah, okay, so, so I'm, I give it up, you guys. I give it up because Sophie's traumatized. I'm cleaning my boots. Because oh, I honk the horn every time she walks in front of the car. I'm still gonna walk all the way around. Yeah, no, I promise. I promise with all of my heart I will never do it again. Well, we can honk with Gabby, right? The reason that I do it is because I want my kids to learn a sense of fun and teasing and cleaning your boots in the car. So he's cleaning her boots. Because that's how you become less sensitive. And I don't think, and not that sensitive, sensitive people are wrong. I just want them to be like more well-rounded. I want my kids to be well-rounded and not really super sensitive so that a lot of things hurt them. When you're sensitive, you guys know, being sensitive can mean that a lot of things hurt you easier. And I want them to be strong and a little bit tough so that the world doesn't eat them up and spit them out. Then just look at my comment section. <laughs> Say it again. Then just look at my comment section. <laughs> look at Sophie's comment section. Anybody who's not perfect and is out there on the internet is going to have a negative comment section. And I always like to say that every hater is just somebody who doesn't understand. Doesn't understand because they don't, aren't living in your shoes. Because it's really difficult to understand someone's choices when they're not living the exact same existence as them. But anyways, go look at Sophie's TikTok comment section. You'll see what she means. Is that what you're talking about? Mm -hmm. What's your TikTok? Finn and Sophie. Or it's Sophie and Finn. Yeah. Whatever one has the photo of Finn. <laughs> Finn and Sophie. Or Sophie and Finn. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to drive away. I told Gabby five minutes and I'm driving away. Because she's not here yet. So let's do it. You guys think I'm going to do it? Just drive away and leave her behind? No. No? <laughs> you think I was going to drive away? No. I drove away though. Oddly enough, Grayfin saw us coming. Let's slide. Grayfin saw us coming and laid down to have a nap. Or to roll. Definitely rolling. Oh gosh. Oh boy. Hi, Chino. Hi, Chino. Hi, baby boy. So uh, we have a lot to do today and we're only an hour before lessons and it keeps happening to me where I try and get here so early so we can do, oh my God, so we can do a lot, but then we always end up being late. So one thing about great or about Goldfin that people don't understand is that he won't get dirty. He does not like to be dirty, but this boy does, does like to be dirty. So we're gonna bring Goldfin in after. Bring these two in now. Chino's watching. He's like, hmm, if they're getting treats. I'm gonna let them all know. Chino's making his way downtown. Making his way up here. Come on, Chino Bambino. One horse really likes the salt lick. One horse really likes the salt lick. Who do you think it is? Uh, I think it's Finn. Goldfin. Uh -oh. I definitely think it's Goldfin. <gasps> Whoa, that was close. No, it wasn't. Sophie, Wait, can you? Don't do that I'm in here, Gabby! Gabby! <laughs> right. Chino, your turn to come out. You keep Grafe Goldfin in. <laughs> Hold on. Look how furry you are. Uh oh. I don't feel confident about this. Oh my gosh. No. Come on. Keep going. Finn's dragons. <laughs> I look back. Yeah, I have strong ponies on. <laughs>
I look back and literally Sophie's got a hold of Finn's neck and he's just dragging her. So Brandon says that you can choose Sparky, but Sparky's just coming back into work and hasn't done anything. And I don't care if I jump on or ride my pony. My so, other pony. So Sparky's gonna be bad, he said. Okay. So this lesson will be about helping him to like remember to be good. Yeah, that's fine. All right, go get Sparky. Also, help me learn. Where's his halter? Do you have to come with me? Uh, uh, you pooped. Why? Why? Like, did you not hear the, did you not get the memo that says we don't have as much time as I hoped we'd have? He's embarrassed now. You pooped too. What's the plan? You got a plan for all this pooping that's going on? Do you? All right. He's my second. Well, no, right now my third here because I haven't gotten here. Kind of it's Finny, Denver, and uh, now Sparky. And yeah. So who got, do you guys remember Sparky? Sophie loves him. This is the new pony for the day. He also has a purple halter. He also has a purple halter. And he's adorable. She no, no. Your mama says no. So I've been um, grooming Chino, shedding him out. And he's like, oh, thank you, mama. Even though I'm not your mama. Okay, get ready, because we gotta go. This is how we be late, standing around. So that just happened. You almost need like a wet cloth to, we have a bunch of sprays and stuff. We have a bunch of sprays and stuff to clean it, to clean him, but it's not good to like spray him down, although he's already kind of wet. So, not it's working. We're going to be that family that shows our training rides, not just our professional rides, but the dirty horse. So, we got one bay, two bays. Hi, Spark. That's not Sparky. Oh, that's not Sparky. Yeah, that's Sparky. Sparky's black. Oh, wow. Where's the hair? So if he says Sparky's really shedding out. Yeah, the and Denver's he's... still, the... it's right there. I can see. His pile of black hair is right there. Wow, this it's horse small, is really but... shedding. Yeah, he's still really shedding. Did you actually brush him on this side? Yeah, that side's shedding, shedding less. No. Yeah. Oh my this gosh. Side Look. More. Look. That is not less. This is the day that you dread when you're covered in horse hair. Thank goodness we just did all of our running around. So a Sparky is not ready yet, so she's not riding him. We changed, uh, so we're changing to Denver. And it's, it's. Every time you video on me, I get, I have to itch my. <laughs> so uh, Sophie, uh, Sparky's not ready yet. We tried him out, took him for a little run and he's not quite ready yet. So we're waiting to see. If, so we're waiting for him. We're gonna ride Denver. You ready to ride Denver? All right. I love Sophie's outfit today. She'd be looking so cute on Denver with the burgundy and the black and the tan and the black and the black helmet and boots. Super cute. And the and yeah, Sophie cleaned her boots and the black on Denver. Like you know, all be matching. And then there's Gabby. Remember when Gabby never wore coats? And then she turned. Then she turned 14 and a half, and poof. What does extra padding mean? For when I die. <laughs> when you're the mom, you do all the work, I'm telling you. <laughs> Girls are cooling out horses, and I gotta go get little Finn and bring him back. So, I brought Finn in, and I'm just standing here. He knows I'm the treat girl. And we're waiting for Sophie. Um, he looked at me, kissed me, and then asked for a treat. <laughs> Hi Finn. I've been waiting five days to explain how you make me feel inside. Baby, got it all figured out. Wanna do this right? There's a doubt in my mind. Baby, you're the one. And tonight, I am going all the way. But mm -hmm. when you touch my hand. The things I would say now I keep rambling on I sound so cliche What I am trying to do is say I love you ooh, 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 ooh. And all the things that you 
Abby here, taking two horses. Grab so uh, today we rode two horses and lunged two horses. Grab Denver, bring him over there, and I will meet you over there to help you take, okay? Okay. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way you are, just the way you can. Don't you know that you're